Good evening everyone. Welcome back. So this has been two days since our last race. Today Benko couldn't make it for this race, so he had race an earlier one. About two hours earlier. I didn't expect that. But we have Kevin Chan here in the race. Then that's his name there. K dot Ascenders. So this is an 11 lap across uh, around the Dolphin Circuit Race. Uh, generally a flat uh, section circuit with one KOM and then a rollers downhill descend towards the finish banner. So What's the plan today? Right, so unlike the last two races the aim for today is not to win the race because I think it gets boring to conserve energy right till the end of the race and then go for a sprint which nobody contests and it becomes too easy and it also becomes uh, too predictable for the video for everyone watching so this time uh, I'm gonna do something different so instead my aim here is to break the category C field right so there are 22 riders as of now my aim is to reduce the field as much as I can and so how will I do that I like explain while the race progresses main thing is to cause maximum hurt for everyone okay so how I'm, I'm gonna do that let's see so the aim here for me now I'm not gonna do a hard sprint start we'll just get everyone rolling but since we have a KOM over here I'll cause the hurt at every KOM but I won't go all out for every KOM because if I go too hard then that will mean I'll break I'll do a solo breakaway and that defeats the purpose. They'll chase me down and nothing's happening. Alright, let's start first. So 22 riders. Now nope, let's not chase that guy. We'll just uh, stay with the pack first. I don't think he'll uh, last that long anyway that's KC there in blue in that Sanders jersey let's see how I feel amazing that guy in front make a huge solo breakaway <coughs> let's see what kind of power he's putting there I can't track him in game. Why we let him go? If his power is too high, he'll be eliminated from the results. So I'll try to uh, talk as much as I can throughout this race to think aloud and give you an idea of what I'm planning and thinking this race so first lap now I'm go not going to hit hard I'm just gonna measure everyone else see how everyone is doing see how strong they are so alright we are with the pack now that's one solo breakaway in front Let's see whether he will be able to hold up. Crossing the gap. Yeah, always have somebody in front of you for you to draft. So not too bad. 22 riders. Everyone is together. We'll see again. 
19 riders, 20, 21, 22. All right. So my aim here is to try to break this field to probably 10 riders. Okay. So I'm going to try to do a hard effort at the next KOM. So what I will do is I'll try to not break away but attack at the hills at the KOM hoping that somebody will chase me. So it's a measured attack. I want to be able to attack with the majority of the pack following me. What do I mean by that? So let's say I have 20 riders now in the pack. So if I attack at the QOM and half of the field follow me, then there will be several riders who will be struggling at the back. So probably three riders will drop off. So that's the point. With every attack, every QM, we aim to drop some riders at the back. And then it goes on in subsequent laps. With every QM, we drop, let's say two, three riders. And then the field gets thinner and thinner. Let's see. The airfield pack now disrupting everyone. Let's see whether we can hang on to the airfield. Draft boost. So now you see the C pack has been stretch out let's try to hang on we have to observe whether there are other sea cat riders in this pack so basically the A cat have done the most of the work for us. The sea cat at the back already broken down to three small groups. So yeah, we're already in front. But we have to watch out. There's another rider right with us, Jay Withro in this breakaway pack. <coughs> so Try to hang on to this back. Also another rider, Montano. So there's three of us in this back. So I think we just have to hang on to this back. Because we are already breaking away. Oh T Witten doing 6 watts per kg catching us up there he goes in yellow black stripes I'm probably guessing he'll be deleted from the results because his power is too high so now the aim here now is to just hang on to this pack this A pack. I'm going to use my power up for this one. Hard. I'm 
free throw still behind. Montano still behind. I'm currently leading in a seat cat. The pace is blistering. So the two cat sea riders are already behind. Struggling. There you go. Two riders, look at the map. Two riders at the back. Struggling. Montano and we throw. I still got a federal power up, which I will use in the next KOM. Montano, still in the pack. Montano struggling already. So basically, if I stick to this pack, I'll win the crit. Because there's no other cat sea rider in this pack. Question remains whether I can hang on. Five laps already. Hot. Tired.
I think this is the last QM that I can hang on with them. Tired. I'm too tired. Tired, just hanging on for dear life. Every QM is mine over body. Tired. He's off now, four more laps, too tired.
Now it's just solo breakaway. I've got two minutes, 50 second gap. I think I can do it. I need a whale to follow. Then oh, two minutes behind. No, but then is ahead of me. I don't think he can catch up. So I just do zone three. Follow this guy. Uh, two more laps. Come on, don't mistake. So, got two minutes on me. You have to close in. I got two laps to go, and they're two minutes behind. So, they got to close up on average one mi minute per lap which is not possible so I'm just gonna play smart get this guy to pull me it's more than enough so Initially the plan was to break the pack three riders at a time but the cat a pack overtook us and that makes my job so much easier and after the cat a broke away it was me Montana and Witten. Witten dropped off first then Montana couldn't follow after the next 2 km. So that's the story. And since then, I've been trying to just hang on to get it back. 
see the power average. Whoa. Probably I'll be bumped up to Cat B after this. So still no rush for this KOM. There's no way they can overtake me. So, yeah, second place Friday is about two minutes behind. And I've got a lap to go. No way they can chase me. So it's basically just a lap of honor. Celebratory lap. Yeah, there'll be some guys who say that, uh, you know, I hop onto the cat pack. But everybody else, every other category has the chance to do so. So that's not an excuse. The referee or the commissioner did not blow the whistle. So, race on. So these two guys are going to pull me to the finishing line. One more lap to go. There's no hurry. Yes, no hurry, one more lap, one more celebratory lap. So we can rest now, our job is done. Huh. Tiring. <laughs> Let's just hang on, do some cooling down. 1.6 kilometers to victory. And all the other crowds are cheering on for the Cat C race leader. Eventually, I'll move on to get B to race. But it's okay. With my low mileage, low FTP, high weight right now, I'm just enjoying it. Until the Zip power bump me up to Cat B category. So I'm still leading. That's KC. 3 minutes 40 seconds behind. Still chasing. I'm like two kilometers ahead of him. Still enjoying my last game here. No need to worry. So, same 8 minutes of racing. Do we want to out sprint them or do we give them the respect for pulling us the rest of the way? And here goes the drum roll. Let's see whether they will sprint. If not, I'll still have my draft power. Alright, let's go. Draft power up. But nobody to draft, but it's okay. Let's finish this off. With a light swim. 
keep rolling. The cat see. Do 29 and a half minutes of crit racing. Well done. Well done. So, yeah. Let's see the power average. This gives us a great workout. Look at that. Every KOM effort is about 500 watts. That's the difference between Cat C racing and Cat A racing. Their attacks, their surges are much harder. If you're not strong enough, you'll go half and puff even after the first KOM. So what happened was, uh, yeah, it's true that I wanted to uh, attack the pack at every KOM and hopefully thin out the pack, eliminating two or three riders every lap. So that by the end of the last lap, we have less than 10 riders. But the Cat A races overtook us before we even reached the first KOM. And they just swarmed through our pack. And I was left with a dilemma because some of the Cat C riders were hopping onto the Cat A pack at the climb. So I got to make a quick decision whether to hang on with the Cat A pack or stick the Cat C pack. Because once the Cat C riders follow the Cat A pack, there's no way the Cat C pack would be able to chase. And the riders in the Cat A pack would have a significant gap, at least a minute ahead of the Cat C pack. So that's what I did. I hung on to the Cat A pack up the KOM and look around me to see how many Cat C riders were in the pack. And initially there were four riders and then it's left with Witten and uh, Montana in the pack. Witten got dropped off after two laps. Montana still hang on after four laps. And then he just gets out. And then it was left up to me to decide how many, how, how far into the race or how long I want to uh, hang on with the cat APEC. I thought I want to drop off after six laps so they have five laps to go but I thought I wouldn't be able to hold on to the lead so I decided to hang on to the cat apex even longer and until I decided to drop off with three laps to go and with three laps to go I had uh, about two minutes 50 seconds ahead of Montana and then it's just about sustaining the, the gap and in the last two in the last two laps I had two minutes gap and that was a comfortable gap and there's no way he could uh, reach that gap if I were to draft a rider and I, had, and I had one rider or two riders in front of me pulling for me and since then on it was job well done so it's just hanging on easy in the last two laps because there's no threat of any Cat C rider overtaking us. So that's it. So that's how the race goes. And I think I average about 250 watts over uh, probably 17 minutes. Yeah. Okay, let's see uh, how's the standing now. You can also see how KC did in. Yep, so that's it. So you see, in the end, because we uh, slowed down, we had 1 minute 17 seconds gap ahead of Montano, right? And then, yeah, Montano was the last dropout. Witten was the guy who uh, sprinted right off the start, uh, starting pen. But you can see, he went off all his matches. He had an average of 3.8, so... Definitely not Cat C category. Kojima as well, 3.5. Definitely not Cat C category. Uh, despite that, Retro burned all his matches and he got overtaken by the chase, by the chase pack. 
of Kojima Oyama and that's it so yeah good uh, good victory first let's uh, take a picture here right, let's see how uh, Kelvin Chan is doing so Kelvin is up at top 10 so he is uh, up here in ninth place 3.3 average so not too bad 9th place out of 22 22 is it 22 24 riders yeah and that's the rest of the field so he finished in 33 minutes i finished in under 30 minutes so well done to kc yeah. and i'm gonna take a snapshot of this as well and let's see our timeline nope power graph take a picture of this as well okay so So that's it for today. Okay, I'm signing off. Let's uh, save this recording first. See you probably next week. I have a ride in, on Saturday to, to Pulai and another ride on Sunday and back to Zif probably a uh, Monday or Tuesday. So see you next week. I hope you benefit from uh, today's race commentary. See you. Race on, Zif on.